guys for you to go in a loo or a toilet you will just sort yourself right there in the bush for us here we don't have a toilet <laughs> Welcome back to Rose Kunik channel. Thank you so much for always coming back to watch my videos. I really appreciate and in case it's your very first time here, welcome. Feel free to join the family. Just smash that red subscription button and if you like the video, kindly give it a thumbs up. And let me get to know what you think about it in the comment section. So guys, it's, it's, it's been long since I posted but i am back for you guys yeah so guess where i'm coming live from yeah so right now i'm coming live from mombasa yeah and specifically at the south coast of mombasa so today i'm just excited to be at this place because it's a nice place for me and for you to prove that i'm in mombasa just have a look on how everything looks like right there there are some coconut trees hope you can see them very clearly yeah so guys today i want to show you the real life here in the village specifically at the south coast in namwanga village yeah so today we are going to see the typical village life and let's go together so that you can get a look on how everything looks like here in the village so right here as you can see these are some of the houses here and i'm very sure some of you will wonder what are those but these are real house as you can see and it is made of mud yeah just have a look guys it looks so good yeah so the roof of this house is made of makuti as you can see I really don't know how it is called in English, but if you know, kindly drop a comment and let me get to know. And on the wall, it is always made of mud. Hope you can see it very clearly, guys. So we'll be going inside and get to see how everything looks like when we are inside, guys. Let's go. Yeah. guys it is somehow dark but you will bear with us so guys right now we are in the sitting room or the living room. right now the chairs are outside but this is where they normally sit here so this is the sitting area then right there this is the bedroom and as you can see the bed is so big i don't know which size is this is it a queen size bed or a king size bed let me get to know in the comment section yeah so up there you can see how those makutis are arranged yeah they're they have been arranged so well then right here this is where they normally put their clothes as you can see there are some suitcases and some bags right here and some extra clothes here so they have kept here some chairs i really don't know why but hope you can see and there are some utensils here with some bottles here we will get to know what they are used for then right here there is another bedroom let's get inside and see so i hope this is the kids bedroom as you can see just have a look guys wow typical village life hope you can see that guys wow this is where they normally keep their bags yeah and that's how the living room and the bedrooms look like. Head to the kitchen and get to see what's happening there or what is there, guys. So, guys, this is the kitchen also made of makuti and uh, 
the walls are made of mud. Yeah. So let's get inside, guys. It is bending, my friend. I tell you. <laughs> yeah. So, guys, hope you can see. We are now inside the kitchen, and and right there, there are three stones. As our jiko and where we normally cook from and right here we do cook using firewood hope you can see there are some firewood which remained and there is some also cooked veggies or vegetables hope you can see there are green vegetables if you like them just drop a sweet comment then right here we have utensils as you know in the kitchen there must be utensils and right there, there are some jerry cans to keep cooking water. Then, guys, just have a look right here. It's do called really, kifumbu. Do you really know this this thing here? It is called kifumbu. kifumbu and it is used for coconut. For separating coconuts after it has been crushed. Yeah, so then right here next to the kitchen there is always a bedroom hope you can see just have a look on how it looks like hope you can see a bed there so in case there is a visitor he will just sleep here guys yeah and you'll be getting enough heat from the kitchen so let's head to the bathroom and see where we normally take shower Typical village life. Hope you can see it, guys. So there, that's where we normally keep our chicks and the hen for them to feed during the day. Then, finally, we are at the bathroom area. So this is our bathroom. Hope you can see. So there, there is some um, two stones there. So we put a basin with water up there on the stone for you to shower so it acts as a supporter so that you cannot strain to bend yeah so guys so basically this is how our bathroom looks like and this is how our houses look like just have a general look guys yeah they look so good and beautiful according to our village life here in Mombasa, specifically in Namanga village. And guys, for you to go in a loo or a toilet, you will just sort yourself right there in the bush. For us here, we don't have a toilet. Yeah, so that's how things are here in the village. And we are very proud to be here in Namanga village, specifically in the south coast of Mombasa. Yeah. So that's how everything looks like or that's how life here in the village is and we are very happy and also you can have a look at the ducks we have so many ducks right here and there's some right there i hope you can see them they are just relaxing after feeding yeah so guys hope you enjoyed this tour let me get to know what you think about this about this village life guys yeah just drop a comment down below and i will get to know guys so see you soon on my next video bye bye